I don't know who forgot to fill up this RV, but we're about out of gas. All right, we're pulling in. This thing is huge, 40 footer. Plus I have my, uh, my toy hauler in the back. Here we go, we're pulling in. Oh, it looks like Garrett beat us. All right, swing wide, I think we'll do. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Here we go, we're pulling in. Swing as wide as I can. This thing is huge. There we go. I think we made it. So this is a Tiffin Zephyr is the model. This thing was like $400,000. Not gonna lie. It's uh, it's a 2021. All right, we should be good right there. Banana man, what's going on, man? Nothing much. I'm ready to hit the trails. What are you driving? Yeah, I just bought this for the family, but I'm, I'm testing it out by myself for the weekend when we go camping. And you have a trailer at the back? Yep, so I had to bring my toys. I knew you said you were bringing your Can-Am and your Ranger, high lifter. Well, I have my Players General, and I also have a and my Articat four-wheeler, so I had to bring them because I didn't know if, uh, if I, I didn't know how much you were bringing them, but nice setup over here, dude. This is awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Obviously, all yellow. Yes, Banana Man style right there. Yeah, and then we got our nice pickup truck. Good old Ford with dualies on the back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I, I got dualies on the RV, but this thing weighs 40,000 pounds. It's a 40 footer. And then I have a 20 foot trailer. So getting around town in this thing is a little bit of a struggle. Now, man, we're going to be heading to some trails. So you're going to have to. You think really I can get into the, the campsite? I think you can. All right. But you're going to definitely have to oh, take it slow. My nozzle just went. Okay. I'm oh. all filled up, man. I can. Uh, I tell you what. I'll just follow you. You lead the all way. All right. Sounds good. Get moving. Hit it. Let's see him pull out. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, don't hit the pole, man. Oh, he's he's not we're a good. curb we're dodger. Good. He's not a curb dodger. We're good. Smoked a curb. Anyway, I uh, I guess I, I might hit a curb here, too, so I can't do too much stalking swing wide. There we go. Coast is clear. There's not too much traffic today, which helps out quite a bit, but we're going to be camping for the weekend, and I bought this thing because it's it's an RV, so this should be nice. Garrett does not get to come inside. Even though I have enough beds, he kind of smells at night, so we got to be careful there. But if you guys enjoyed these camping videos, let me know by smashing the like button, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do. We're going to be having daily videos until the new year for sure, so make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and then you always know when I post. Is this our turn, big cat? This is, this is. Holy, keep her moving, man. Somebody could be coming over that hill. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Keep going right over here. Now, this is a path it says to take. Okay, yeah, this looks a little, we got some low-hanging branches here. This doesn't look too good. Yeah, now, you sh should be able to make it, but... I do. Again, <laughs> you might have to get out and cut some branches for me, because I don't want to scratch this half a million dollar RV. Okay, okay. What, what, what was it? 400,000? 400,000, man. But after taxes, all that insurance okay, and stuff, oh, okay. she gets steep. All right, all right. This is like well, a hey. walking path, man. Yeah, man, but oh, you got to make it through. Oh, we're going to hit a few bushes here. Come on, trailer. Oh, she's rubbing. Okay, we made it. Perfect. I guess I don't really Good. care about the trailer. Yep, we got a guy walking here. There we go. He moved out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, all there, right. There's a deer. There is. And here is the campsite. Okay. So just try making it up. It's a little steep, but not yeah, too bad. Yeah, we should be good. Don't want to bottom out. I'll go off onto the... Okay, some below hanging branches, Garrett. You never told me about this. Well, again, I can remove them if you need me to. Okay, you got your trimmers. All right, we're pulling in here. I think I'll set up right about here. All right, sounds good. I'm just going to straighten this thing out. Heck yeah, man. This is awesome. So this is our camping site. You said they just built it? Yeah, yep. This is pretty much just built. It's very basic right now. Oh, look but at this. They have uh, some, some wood that they piled up, so we could use this for for, uh, for a little bit of firewood. Yeah, man. I think when they were clearing out the site, they like that's the wood from that. Okay. So they just kind of left it Nice, nice. Us. How much are we paying to park here? Uh, quite a bit, but okay. less than your motorhome. Uh, it, it, okay, see, that's true. Less than my motorhome. It, that's about it. But I was going to say, they usually never had. This is like a national forest, but it's like they opened it up. Yeah, this is, again, very new. Like, they just realized they need something over here. This whole forest has no proper grounds. People are just going and creating bonfires in the middle of the woods. Yep, yep. That's a good point. But, man, your cannon looks sick. This thing's awesome. Thank you, thank you. I, I'd say, like, the yellow just really makes it, you know? Yeah, it looks clean. I Yeah, they both look really nice. But let's, uh, I my motorhome's good to go, man. When I just That's what I like about it. I don't got to set up no tent. I can just jump in and sleep in uh, a king size bed. Fair enough, but hey, man, I need your help setting up my tent because yep. I'm obviously gonna be sleeping. Yep, you're not uh, you're not allowed in this beauty, Garrett. If you guys didn't know, uh, he's a smelly guy, so we just gotta keep him out sometimes. 
All right, all right. We don't got to go over all that. Here, we're going to... Real quick, let's unload the trailer. Here, I'll get the straps undone. Yeah, so that's an Arctic Hat four-wheeler. Pretty cool. It's got the snorkels. She's a beast in the water. Whoa. Careful, man. You got to go down the ramp. There we go. Wasn't quite aligned. Thought I'd make it. Ooh, these are some bright headlights. Heck Check yeah. that out. Yep. I'm blinded. I put LEDs in there. They look good. Pretty nice, man. Okay, those are quite bright too yeah i'm all about i'm all about the leds but they, uh we can we can probably use my general to load up some firewood too or the foiler whatever we don't have to push it that far yeah so okay what do you want to do first set up the tent or get some firewood we can up? set up your tent i'm not exactly sure it's a little sloped here they must not have too many good spots but wherever you want to set it up okay well that's good enough for who it's for right sir this will do the trick <laughs> yeah that looks better than your house at home but anyway anyway enough making fun hey, of garrett <laughs> i have a beautiful house I i'm joking i'm joking uh, what do you say put your gloves on i got a chainsaw honestly let's use your high lifter i think it has more cargo space okay yeah we can grab that i'll get my helmet on too oh there's some deer down there again some white tail all right don't look here. over here i'm getting changed okay uh yeah yeah for sure there we go guys there's the deer they look uh there's three i thought there were four maybe one ran away there we go they're eating the grass that's cool oh dang it garrett no man you're they're running away of course garrett always spooks the deer when he's coming in yeah i i i, I think anytime a deer sees this guy running after him they're gonna be like what the heck is that like a standing construction mean? zone man i i blend right in you do not blend it you do not blend it but we'll get uh we'll get cutting what size looks good these are these are a little short i think we'll start nubbing off this it looks like they kind of came through here with some machine some of it's damaged but it's perfect firewood I don't even think we'll have to split it. It's kind of small. Well, it doesn't get any easier than this. When the log is literally standing up like this and you can just, you know, you don't have to like, it's kind of tough to chainsaw a log that's on the ground because you don't want to put your chainsaw into the ground. And it's pretty much like the logs hold itself up and you can just make nice chunks of firewood. Let's go. This is awesome. That, that's that got to be plenty because I, I brought my axe. So I'm going to be able to split these into like, you know, quarters, into fours, maybe even six. And so that, that should be plenty of room for us. I think Garrett flaked on me. I think he left and uh, I, what I do you mean? Banana man, get to work, man. Load it up. Load it up. Yes, sir. All right, all right. These are some big pieces. Yeah, it should be. Uh, yeah, they're kind of heavy, but this should be plenty of wood. Once we get this in here, I'm pretty confident we got enough wood for the night. Oh, yeah, for sure. There we go. That one on there. Yes, sir. And then two more. And we'll get it strapped down. But yeah, this is really nice because the bed actually dumps too. So we. We'll just back up to wherever we're going to put the fire and get her loaded. Yes, sir. Looking good. Get the last one on top. There, that's good enough. Hold her down. All right. For some there reason, we've we noticed in FS22, like, the logs don't stack. As you can tell, there's, like, a little bit of space in between them, between, like, what you actually see. So that it's kind of interesting. Maybe it makes it easier for, like, logging, but it looks a little weird. Yeah. But, hey, we got it on there either way, so that's good. Yep. And then we'll just dump it here. This, usually, guys, we... If you guys watch our camping videos, we got to drive miles to go find some dead wood. And then we got to, you know, sometimes we don't have chainsaw and stuff. Hey, the mirror, the mirror, this actually works. I didn't know that. Oh, it does? Yeah. There you go. That's pretty cool. Now, I think you can dump the whole bed. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on if I don't spill it. There we go. She's coming out, Garrett. Watch yourself. All right. I'm standing back. Oh, there come on. Go. They're stuck. A few more. Here we go. Come on, boys. There, there we, go. we go. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, pull that thing forward. There yeah. we go. This thing's this thing's a beast. It looks awesome. Looks good. It has huge tires, huge rims. Of course, four by four. It, it's literally like a off-road car. Oh yeah. Four seater. I think you can fit you can probably fit six people in here if you really had to. Yeah, no, for sure, man. Yeah, so let's just kind of set up the fire and we'll get it going if we can. You put one in the middle here. Oh yeah. Well, let's see. Let's grab this. Well, I guess we yeah, we only need two seats. Yeah, I'm, so I'm sitting on this thing. I'll sit on this one. But we aren't. We don't need to start the fire now because we're going to be out of fire. We, we need it for tonight. So, Garrett, what do you say? We hit some trails. I'll I'll take the I'll take the high lifter. Okay. Well, you take the high lifter and I'll play. I'll take my general. I put some pretty cool rims on this thing and then some nice tread as well. So if we ever get into mud, I literally have like paddles for tread. So that'll be perfect. Yeah, man. Yo, look at the seat I made. There's nice flat bottom. Yeah. And then you can just sit on it. You need a little notch for your, you know, for your bottom. Oh, that's true. There, here. I'll I'll trim it up here. I used to be an expert wood carver. Yeah. All right. Let's see what you, you can know, do. You know, like the, the bears that they carve out of wood and stuff. 
No, you yeah, didn't oh, do heck that. yeah, man. I always did bald eagle. Really? Yeah. When did you do that? There we go. Back in my old day. Oh, nice. And there we go. Voila. Looks good. Perfect. I got your seat flattened out too. You can do your magic on it later, but let's hit the trails, man. Yep. 10 4. I left my door open. Oh, that's my bad. No worries. Here, there we I'll go. follow you. I'll it. follow you. It, it, it looks like Garrett's a legit, like, he, he rides, he does this for a living. Wait, wait. You need to put on your helmet, man. Uh, I got, I got my helmet on. It's just a ball cap. Okay. It'll work. It, it's so. something. All right. Well, let's get moving. Come on. Pick up the pace, boy. Oh, I'm, I'm pressing down this pedal. We're going to go off road and hope you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm following you. I know you know this place pretty good. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep. That's off road. There we go. Right through the bushes. Dodge and then the trees. I wonder, let's go in this creek. Let's see if we can get, at least your, yours sits quite a bit higher than mine. Okay. There's quite a oh, bit yeah. of walking paths back here. It's okay. Okay, they, uh, we got a lot of rain re recently, but... Are we supposed to be in here? I think we can... There we go. There we are. Ooh. Oh, my feet are wet. Yeah, my feet are wet, too. Oh, quite a bit of water came through the door, but screw it. There we go. Let's go right down it. I'm going to close that windshield. Don't want to get too wet. Yeah, nice and easy. I think... I Hopefully, it doesn't... You know, there's no drop-off or anything. Oh, that would be bad. Well, what's up ahead? Yeah, there's it looks like a there's, there's a bridge up ahead. I'm going to get out of there. I think it drops off. It got kind of dark. This is what I call maze running right here. Try and make it through the forest. Oh, oh yeah. Don't hit there me. There we go. Try and go in between all the trees and not hit it. Pretty much not hit a tree. Oh, there's some baby trees here. There we go through the bushes. And I think I made it back. Yeah. Winner, all winner, right. chicken dinner. Oh, I didn't know it was a competition. It's always a competition, man. That's what they I always say. That's, that's what the losers always say. They're like, ah, I didn't know we were racing. I gave you that All look. Right. All right. Well, I'm going to take a nap right now, man. And then I'm going to eat. Are you down for anything? Uh, you want to, you want, like a steak or anything? Yeah. 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 That would work good. You brought some meat? Of course, man. I brought some steak, some hot dogs, and I and think four. I have one frozen patty. Heck yeah. I think I, I'll just use my stainless steel appliances. I got a, a four-way oven. Uh, I think a double baker uh, kitchen in there. Yeah. Why did I... Bring a cooler when Granite you have countertops. You have solid surface in there. Yeah, I got a fridge and there's like an iPad on the on the door of it, so you don't have to oh, open okay. it up. It like shows you what's inside. Yeah, I will have a Yeti cooler. I okay. know I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay, on on my fridge, I can click something and in in the the grocery store will bring me food. Okay, I can't I can't top that one. Okay, yeah. Anyway, I don't know what they bring it out here, but yeah, I'll go in. I'll whip something up, and then you can have your sloppy Joe. Well, guys, I had dinner. Took a little bit of a nap because I saw Garrett was having a nap too. But now it's pouring. Let's jump out. Garrett, man, what are you doing? You drop your keys? Man, I'm trying to knock it covered in rain. Oh, I have my tire. <laughs> You're staying underneath your spare tire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was I was gonna say you could stay in the motorhome, but you're too wet already. What? Yeah, here's yeah, an umbrella. Here's an umbrella. Okay, well, thank you. At least I don't have to be stuck under here. Why don't you... Uh, yeah, we aren't going to be having any fire because now our wood is soaking wet. And we aren't going to sit out there. Here, Garrett, just get inside your tent. I'll zip it behind you. Okay. All right, climb in. There we go. Zip it for him. All right, Garrett, just stay in there. I'll be in the RV if you ever need anything. All right, thank you. If it Are ever you sure gets... I can't come in there? Yeah, if it ever gets cold or wet, just give me a... A tax, they'll bring out a blanket or something, but yeah, don't come into the RV. Ah, okay, fine. Have a good night, man. Yep, you too. Yeah, guys, it's boring. I got my uh, got my umbrella on. He didn't have an umbrella, but we'll we'll go to the RV here, and it should should be good. Well, that was that was a good night's sleep. The rain was actually kind of nice. It was kind of like white noise, and I didn't have to worry about it too much. Didn't have to hear the coyotes. But Garrett, is how was how was your sleep, man? Honestly, it was pretty good. The rain. Oh, really? Hit in the and like I was able to fall asleep pretty easily. It was a bit chilly, but hey, real men can handle the it, outdoors. It, it, it no, uh, yeah, I know it's really hard tamp camping in my RV. But no, no rain inside the tent or anything. It was waterproof. Nothing, nothing, man. Dang, I'm dry as a biscuit. You got lucky, but let's get everything packed up and we'll head out. All right, this was a fun camping trip. Heck yeah! Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe as well. And let us know what we should do next. He has his little lantern. What we should do next in the uh, in a camping series. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the RV. And I'll see you in the next one.